Hi, it's debunking time again, although this isn't really a debunk because this is like a nothing burger thing. I just wanted to laugh at this because it is absolutely hilarious. So you can call this the batshit crazy impractical idea of the week. So let's have a look at it. Yes, it involves solar. Yes, it involves wind and... <laughs> I've done a video debunking uh, wind power, the wind wall uh, generator thing here. So I'll link that one in if you haven't seen it. Dear, this is the sun plower because it's a combined solar panel and wind turbine. So it plows through the wind and sun. Get it? Um, it's a German thing. <laughs> I don't want my German viewers. <laughs> Renewable energy harvesting disruption. It's disruptive. I don't think they have any financial backing. As I said, I think this is a complete nothing burger. So uh, yeah, it's just fun to laugh at. So let's have a look. Harvesting renewable energy using wind, solar, hydro, and tidal energy. They're trying to kill three birds with one stone as any good disruptive technology does. And everyone, we all know when you try and be a jack of all trades, it's a winner winner chicken dinner. Anyway, eco-friendly, low noise, and no bird, insect, or fish cutting. <laughs> so you don't cut the birds and the fish. <laughs> World's first inclined axis turbine propeller uses both lift and drag efficiently and reduces expensive and heavy mass costs. In addition to that, propeller's blades are flat. They're flat, which can be used for installing solar panels. Optional. Easy to manufacture in comparison to expensive 3D curved propellers. Those pesky curved propellers, why bother? It's reducing mass costs and requirements significantly. World's first truly wind plus solar hybrid solution for powering mobile phone towers. And look at this. This is just stunning Photoshop work here. This is just absolutely amazing. So so disruptive. <laughs> Propeller technology, breakthrough in fluid propulsion of both air and water more efficiently and effectively with sun plower propellers. Drone, and we'll get into the drone air taxi thing in a second. <laughs> Um, they enable more efficient and dynamic propulsion than uh, Voith Schneider propellers bring disruption to boats, ships, and submarines. So they're saying you can use this as a propeller to propel your boats along. Here it is. Apparently these are popular on like ferries and tugs and things like that uh, where they have to change direction, like get a lot of power and change direction of the thing. And here's a little animated uh, graphic. So the angle of the blades can like change in real time as it rotates and things like that. So you can force it to, you know, the boat can just, you know, move in any direction and stuff like that. So apparently these are a thing. And they're claiming that their, their little <laughs> piss ant thing here is you stick this in the water and it's gonna... <laughs> oh, this is great stuff. Um, they do have a wanky video. One hour of solar energy reaches Earth, sufficient for all human needs, wind and stored energy, blah, 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 sun plower, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's, oh, look, there, there they are, designing, designing, oh, yeah, invented and designed in Germany, it must work. World's first inclined axis wind turbine, <laughs> look how fragile and pissant it looks. <laughs> so they're, they're changing the, world's first true hybrid solar with wind solution. <laughs> You're going to go for broke, like, yeah, just, like, try and kill all, all markets at once. <laughs> this is just great stuff. <laughs> anyway, member of the World Alliance for Efficient Sol Solutions. That is actually a thing. There's lots of big names associated with that, like the thousands of companies uh, signed up. So I guess it's pretty easy to, you know, um, sign up. The You pay your bucks. And apparently they've demonstrated a prototype at the 24th uh, World Energy Congress booth. Oh, I found it. I found their prototype. Have a look at this. Siva, whoever, um, they're probably one of the founders or whatever. There's a little prototype over there. Look, isn't it cute? Major achievements so far. Well, we appeared at the at this Congress with our booth with our little prototype. But check this out. This is their little prototype. This is their little prototype. Oh my god. Oh no, is that aerofoil shaped? It's not really. It doesn't look really aerofoil, but it's uh it's kept they have no clue what they're doing. This pissant little thing on the little a little off-the-shelf turbine probably, and they run it. Look here it is. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I, I haven't seen this yet. 
There's that little... Oh, they're killing it. Look at this. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Look at this. The fan. That fan's really rocking too. That's really blowing it. Out. It's just turning. They aren't even actively pitching those. I don't. I don't think there's any active pitch in that at all. Look, there's not enough room in there to have any sort of like active. Oh, I guess you maybe you could at a pinch fit it in there, but like active pitch for each blade, and they just. Looks like they just stuck some blades into this top, <laughs> like a three. Is that like a three D printed top or something? And and they just and that and that fan, that industrial fan is really blowing. A gale. Look at it. You can hear it. It, it it's on the side like that. So it's not like into the, they've got it specifically set up. Try and blow it directly into it or whatever. Or try and like it doesn't look like it even rotates or anything. Like, that's just... <laughs> that's their prototype. <laughs> this is great. So, yeah, they're totally going to use <laughs> this pissant little thing to replace this Voice Snyder propeller. Oh, look at that. So it powers tugs and things. That's, that's beefy. Yeah, they're totally going to replace that with, <laughs> with that. It's got to be a joke. It's got to be. How it works, as the pitch of the propellers is synchronously varying while rotating, dust on the blades of solar power, it's self-cleaning. What a brilliant idea. It's the world's first true hybrid solar wind technology along with self-cleaning and self-cooling panels. Because the cooler the panels are, the more efficient that they're going to operate. So having the wind spin the <laughs> solar panels around, use them as the turbines, genius thinking. It's possible to use a single, dual, or quad pro single propeller configuration. Okay, dual or quad propellers? No, um, triple. That's popular in the uh, in the turbine market. It's easy to adapt to any wind direction. Your mechanism is simplified and more efficiently controlled, resilient to turbulence, and it is flexible with less stringent sight requirements. Many bad sites for standard wind turbines are good sites for sunflowers propeller. <laughs> Scalable to any size, supporting strings can be added for extra efficiency. You can uh, mobile phone towers, remote highways, small, medium scale, kite power generation, tidal, hydro, without a dam. This is hilarious. Look at this. They claim they can use these for drones and air taxis, i.e. that take humans. They claim to be able to spin these things and then change from vertical to horizontal flight. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they think the solar panels are going to power the thing. No risky hinges. <laughs> Stable, simple and reliable. Vertical takeoff and landing. Long range similar to an airplane. <laughs> Weight carrying capacity. Quietly moving with the air. World's first directional thrust control propeller. During vertical takeoff landing, air is pushed down providing vertical thrust. Easy. Blades pitch is changed during operational change. <laughs> like the direction of the thrust, just like the Osprey aircraft, right? <laughs> it's simple. You just <laughs> just done a few Photoshop and CAD drawings and they've nailed it. <laughs> they've absolutely nailed it. Oh boy. Anyway, how batshit crazy is that? Um, there's nothing in About Us, I don't think. Um, so, no, just wank, wank, wank. Birds and the bees, yeah, good on ya. Um, so this is absolutely nuts. Now look, as I've gone through, I've gone through the calculations, the uh, the wind power formula and all sorts of stuff extensively in my wind power video. So if you want to go through that, but but the bottom line is, is that, you know, even the best case, due to Benz's law, the best case power efficiency is 350 watts per square meter. Let's figure out what they need to power a mobile phone tower like this. First of all, uh, you can't just mount it on the top. You can't just mount a wind turbine on the top of the tower because then there's a shear forces that um, even if we go over here, even uh, Alcatel Lucent, who know what the hell they're doing with base stations, they actually offer solutions for powering base stations with wind and energy. It is a thing. And they say here that uh, most turbine providers offer a 15 metre high mass, but a cell tower is 15 metres, 50 metres high. And yes, the higher go, you go up, technically the better and more efficient that 
your wind uh, turbine can be. You can uh, catch more consistent wind. It doesn't magically get more efficient. You just get more consistent uh, wind as you go higher up. The wind is better at that height, although we sometimes have to strengthen the tower. And like you can't just retrofit a tower with what has to be a quite substantially sized generator. Now, how much power do you need to uh, power a base station? Well, here's the R&D manager and operations at Ericsson. So an assessment of four to six kilowatts per site with an average of five kilowatts would be okay. And I've confirmed that with other sources, like a real small tower will be like one or two kilowatts, something like that. Um, but yeah, let's, let's run with five kilowatts. So you need five kilowatts of power. So what does a five kilowatt wind turbine look like? Well, they're actually quite large. Let's have a look at this. Don't know if this is, you know, a legit five kilowatt one. I just found this video. They're quite large. They're actually about six meters in diameter for a five kilowatt wind turbine. They're actually very large and the forces on them are <laughs> quite large as well. So that's a typical horizontal uh, wind turbine. We'll get into why horizontal in a minute. Um, blade diameter 6.4 meters. So, you know, like six, typically six meters diameter. Let's say that their whiz bang thing here <laughs> And if they can get this thing to work, which is ridiculous. These panels need to be, say, like, let's say three meters long. And I'm going to say like half a meter wide, something like that, right? So three meters by a half meter, each panel, each solar panel is uh, 1.5 square meters. Now, if you take like a new top of the range, like LG neon panel or something, we're talking about like 210 or something watts per square meter. So really, you're only going to get like 300 watts, say, out of something like that. Each one of those panels, even if it is optimally uh, angled towards the sun, okay, but then because it's spinning around, let's say, even if this, this, this thing worked, right, you'd be lucky to get like um, on average, one of these panels optimally facing the sun at all times as the thing spins around and the pitch changes and everything else, right? This is just absolutely ridiculous. Why? And because they're flat, okay? They, they claim here, you know, you don't need any of that pesky curved propeller. The reason that Bl turbine blades are curved is because, as I explained in this video, it helps capture the maximum amount of energy, it increases the surface area and slows the blades down and actually captures more of the wind energy, which is 600 watts per square meter, by the way. You cannot, that's the maximum amount, by the laws of physics, the maximum amount of energy at um, a certain air pressure. Uh, for example. And then you've got Betz's law, which basically halves that, um, you know, like 350 odd watts per square meter is the best that you can absolutely extract from the wind per square meter. <laughs> That's why um, these wind turbines have to be, sorry, six meters diameter, uh, total diameter to be able to extract five kilowatts from the wind. They're quite large. So yes, you can't just <laughs> decide, oh, I'm not going to use a, a aerofoil shaped <laughs> turbine blade. I'm just going to make it flat because it can <laughs> add solar to it. <laughs> That's got to be a winner, right? You don't, there's no, there's no physics why all wind turbines are actually shaped like aerofoils, is there? No, no, there's nothing why they actually look <laughs> shaped like this and have an aerofoil shape. Unbelievable. Like, these people have absolutely no clue about, like, even basic stuff. You can calculations you do back of the envelope and why turbine uh, blades are shaped like they are. They think, they no, no, we just make them flat. And, and because they're flat, we can put solar panels on them. Unbelievable. Like, you can probably get this thing to spin. Like, maybe? It's certainly not. It's going to be piss poor at extracting energy from the wind because you, you can't just make the blades flat. Anyway, it's all fluid dynamics and how it works. Your air is essentially a fluid um, because the wind equation, by the way, the wind equation works the same in air as it does in water, fluid. Um, it's it's essentially the same thing. So, yeah, it, it's, this is just ridiculous. So... You'd be lucky to get like a couple of hundred watts total out of this thing. Total wind and solar, which got like three meter long blades or whatever. <laughs> Come on.
even if this thing was able to spin, right, you have to continuously dynamically change the angle of the blades to get efficient wind. And then that's not going to be efficient for collecting solar power. So you trading one off against the other. It's just ridiculous. A complete and utter hilarious gimmick. Like, you would think this is a troll, right? <laughs> like, I, this is something I would do as like an April Fool's joke. Absolutely incredible, but I think they're serious. <laughs> Graphene, 800% baloney. A batterizer. Anyone remember that? What, what the hell happened to the batterizer or whatever it's called now? Son, the drone propeller technology and we can make this work as a drone. Look, look, look at this. Look at this spinning sideways. Look at this. Counting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this bad boy's going to work. <laughs> these pissed ant little arms with these flat solar, <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I do like their logo though. I like how the shift in the blades goes around. Oh boy, this is just like a poo. What? What? I don't know. Worship the sun, source of all and, own, and the owner of this universe. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bob. It's an inclined axis wind turbine. Okay. There's basically two types. There's horizontal like these ones and which is what Almost all wind turbines are. You can actually buy vertical ones. Like you can get vertical wind turbines like these. And so, you know, some people have success with them. This is a five kilowatt one, by the way. And this has got three meter long uh, blades on it. And they're curved. None of this straight rubbish. None of this flat rubbish. And, uh, you know, vertical wind turbines are all the rage. Like a while back, like Helix technology. They, in, you know, like 13 years ago, back in like 2007, they were all the rage. They got all this huge investment money and then they just went bunk. And if you look at uh, some of the articles about it, it's... And this National Ge Geographic article on why uh, this company failed. Doubts about vertical. Why do we keep repeating the same mistakes? The same mistake being vertical wind turbines versus horizontal ones. Uh, no vertical axis company has survived in the marketplace for any length of time. All long-term successful wind electric manufacturers use horizontal axis designs. This is because they work. So yeah, like you can get these vertical axis uh, ones to work, but they're just like, yeah, like horizontal works better for many reasons. Anyway, I just wanted to point this out because if you want to power a mobile phone tower from wind and solar, you can. You could put a vertical axis or even a horizontal axis one. But as we saw here with uh, uh, ones that are actually, um, you know, installed, they've got combination of solar and... Here we go. They've got combination of solar and horizontal axes, wind turbines. This is actually powering a uh, mobile phone uh, tower nearby. So, you know, this is a thing, powering mobile phone towers with solar and wind, but you do it with like traditional flat solar like this. Like you could whack five kilowatts worth of solar panels if you really want to do it, like even on the sides like this. You just angle like all the way down. Uh, the thing. You could, like, power it from that and have a wind turbine uh, down below on if you've got room on the ground because there's always, for safety reasons, there's always, like, a uh, you know, marked-off area around any decent mobile uh, phone tower that you can't enter. This has to be, like, this has all the hallmarks of a troll or April Fool's joke. It really does, but I, you know, I... <laughs> Possibly they're serious. So please leave it in the comments if I've been had and this is actually a, you know, somebody's joke or whatever. But um, yeah, and, and the drone, the drone, it's an air taxi. We can, you'll be flying around with these things, with these solar panels and these flat blade voted, you know, incline, what do they call it? Incline uh, <laughs> propeller system. Anyway, that's a, <laughs> that's got to be the most batshit crazy idea of the week. I mean, they just keep coming. Um, so thank you to uh, the viewer who uh, sent this one in because this is just this is just worth a worth a laugh, really. So yeah, please leave your comments down below. Have you seen anything more batshit crazy? But hey, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna uh, be disruptive, you know, go for broke and uh, try and smash all three markets <laughs> with in one go. <laughs> Your vert inclined axis wind turbine propeller. <laughs> Catch you next time.